Hello guys, this is Rohit from Malware Developers. I'm doing this video on a special request from many guys. Um, let's go do this. So I'm just gonna go put these app delegates files in the supporting files because we don't really need them. Okay, now let's go to the storyboard. Let me arrange it. I like it that way. Okay, so now we'll take table view controllers because we have to pass data from table view controller to another table view controller i'm passing the arrow to the table view controller and deleting the view controller uh, we also do not need these files now because we'll create new files for the table view controllers let's have another table view controller inside And I'll have navigation view controller because we'll navigate from one table view controller to another table view controller. Okay. Uh, remove this and make the root view controller of the navigation view controller as these as this table view controller. Okay, now delete the default root view controller. Yeah. I'm arranging them. Let's put the entry point at the navigation view controller. Pretty much done here. Let's name it. Table one. I'm putting the cell identifier as cell one. cell identifier as cell 2 of this table view controller okay now control click and drag it here use the show segway as you can see push segway has been deprecated now so use the show segway it's it works uh, as such it works the same okay now make let's make files for the table view controllers command n will give you the file okay coco attach make sure you have ui table view controller now you can name your class i'll name it as table one vc okay next and create We'll create another set of files. Command N, Coco Touch class, table two VC. Next and create. Okay, uh, let's link these files. Uh, Okay, okay. Uh, make sure you always select the view controller in instead of the view. See, as you can say, as you can see here, I have selected the table view, so I won't get the actual class. So make sure you select the table view controller instead of table view. This is how you select it, and now you put the name table view uh, table one vc. Right, enter. Select the second one and enter table to vc okay save it okay now we'll go table one vc dot file and we'll confirm to the protocols ui table view data source and ui table view delegate
We'll have a property now. Property. Strong. Non-atomic. NS array. Array. This is the array that will fill the, the table. Okay, let's go to the entire. Remove this commented code from the view did load. Let's start. Underscore array because I'm not synthesizing yet. If you synthesize, you can use directly array. Array at the rate dog cat let's let's take in plural i guess yeah snakes snakes cat <laughs> cats Dogs. Okay. Let's go enter the sections. Remove this warning. Return one because we will just have one section in our table. Uh, remove this warning again. Return underscore array count. This will actually return the number of elements in that array. Uncomment this. We'll need it. Let's first take uh, an string static. N string. Cell identifier. Identify. So this is how we are linking that cell identifier we entered in our storyboard to our code. Cell cell one. Now in the reuse identifier we'll we'll enter cell identifier. And we do not need for index path. So yeah, let's go and remove that. Okay, now I'll configure the cell. Yes. Let's configure. Cell dot lazy x x level dot text equal to array object dot index index path dot row okay and we'll have an accessory cell dot accessory accessory type equal to UI table U uh, I don't know why it's not coming it's table view accessory let me just enter it first, then we'll know. Accessory disclosure indicator. Okay, let's see what it says. Yeah, let's see. Okay, so UIW sell disclosure indicator. Fine. 
okay so we done with the table view filling part save it and let's go to the second view controller start at ball and let's confirm to the protocols UI table view data source UI table view delegate okay and let's let's not enter property again let's just go and copy it from the first one yeah so we'll go and copy it and paste it here okay we'll have another property um property ns integer let's name it pid uh, because id is already a reserved variable so let's have pid okay now let's move to the m file yeah let's move to the m file Save it. M file. Uh, remove this commented code from the unit load let the logic part begin okay so this is where we use the PID to create a logic if underscore PID because I have not synthesized it equal equal zero then I want my array underscore array equal to at the rate see if the PID is zero that means the user has selected dogs so I'll put the dogs here Labrador Beagle and Rottweiler Not Weiler. Okay. Now I'm just gonna go copy paste this three times for one for dog, cats, and snakes. Yeah, two times. Same. And gonna replace the PID equal to one and PID equal to two. So if PID one is selected, that means the user has selected cats and will. Uh, we are entering the cats here Persian Siberian and Pixie Bob if PID is equal to 2 that means yeah, the user has selected snakes ok snakes are King Cobra Black Mamba and uh, rattlesnake okay so yeah number of sections yeah remove this warning return one because we are gonna have one section remove this warning return return underscore array count same logic it will return the number of elements in the array ok let's go to the AMP file of first table view controller let's import the second view controllers dot h file here this is so that we can have the variables let's and uh, okay wait wait uh, we first have to let me copy this and paste it in second view controller so that we can actually have it uh, select this hole and paste that yeah uh, just a small change identify cell 2 and we don't need the accessory here yeah okay we can save it like that <coughs> okay 
back to business we will have the method prepare for segue prepare for segue yeah let's add ns teams index path ns index path path equal to slash dot table view index path for selected row okay table table to vc vc we have the object of table second table view controller now vc equal to segue we're telling the segue that vc is our destination view controller okay now vc dot c this is how we are using the variable pid that is of second view controller in this yeah, equal to path dot row. Okay. Okay, let's run it. I want to run it in iPhone 5S because I have that one. <laughs> run. Okay, so here we have our app. It has my copy right okay so here we have our table one we can see dogs cats snakes i select dogs labrador beagle rottweiler go back i select cats persian siberian pixie bob i go back i select snakes king cobra black mamba rattlesnake okay perfect it's working thank you guys please like and subscribe our channel Please leave your valuable comments so that we can improvise. Thank you very much and a happy new year 2015. Thank you.